Hey there, this is Sky Thrusters here on YouTube, and today I'm going to show you how to uh, save your Minecraft world on Bedrock 1.16 and Windows 10. Um, as you can see, I'm going to actually walk you through the whole process because actually I'm copying inf uh, to an, another folder, like if you want to save it or if you want to transport it. And um, one of the main reasons is because I tried to find these kind of videos when I for, was first starting off and none of them had the full walkthrough so I had to figure it out on my own and uh, that was a real drag so um, one thing you, you're gonna have either your computer name folder depending on how your computer set up uh, that is a user folder there or you might have your this PC on the, your computer or you may have to go into your start folder or another way to actually get to your files but either way well we're gonna use we're gonna start off using just th this PC I'm gonna double click it it's gonna take us into this area where it should show you all the devices and hard drives on your computer now what we're looking for is the local drive the local disk drive in this case it's disk C um, I have other disk on here as well um, and your disk may be something other than local disk C. It just depends on how it's set up. So we're going to click on local disk C. That's going to take us into the main area of your computer. And we're actually looking for this here, users, down at the bottom. We're going to double click that. Now once we're in here, we have this folder which is air and it matches uh, the name of this computer which is air pollution. and just minus the pollution so we'll double click on that and it's going to take us to this area this is your user area in this case this is our user area but on your computer this is your user area now from this page right here from this folder right here you can get to where you need to go but only if you follow the next few steps so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click back click the up arrow so I come back to air and I'm going to then come up to view and we're going to go over to options and then we're going to change folder and search options it's going to bring up folder options then we're going to go to view and inside of view you have file folders and blah 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 this is the file folders section we're going to change it from don't show hidden files folders or drives to show hidden files folders and drives because this is, some, this is the important step that all the other videos I watch didn't include so we'll click apply we'll click OK now we're going to click on the air folder again and you still see it looks the same we're going to click all the way out and I'm going to do it on the user folders too. Uh, I think. Maybe I'm not. Maybe it's already in there. No, it's not. Okay. So it didn't take it yet. So we'll try it again. Because so what we need to do is get this folder to show us. See, it went and defaulted back. So we'll show hidden files. I could do apply to all folders if I wanted to. I don't have a problem with that. You may not want to do that. We're going to click. We'll just click OK this time and see if it did it for us. OK, it's the default. So now users is showing a hidden folder default. And air is showing us this hidden folder. This hidden folder inside of uh, your user profile is app data. And this is kind of where a lot of the magic of Windows 10 uh, works as far as like programs go so we're gonna double click that and the only way to get that is to get it to show and we're gonna go into local gonna scroll down here to packages right there packages now this is where all the programs are hosting their data or at least some of them you're gonna want to scroll down until you find Minecraft uh, Microsoft Minecraft. I probably went too. Yep, I already went too low. Here it is. Microsoft Minecraft UWP whatever. Uh, we'll open that. 
and then we're going to go to local state you have all these different options here they have different kinds of information and we're going to go to local state and then you have another folder which has speech and treatments and other things premium catch we're going to go to games and then it comes up to com.mojang we're going to click on that and now we are where we need to be. We have Minecraft Worlds, we have Minecraft PE, Behavior Packs, Development Behavior Packs, Resource Packs. This is where uh, Skin Packs, uh, World Templates, uh, World Templates and C, I think are seeds, if I remember correctly. That looks empty, so it's not. Uh, anyways, uh, this is where you need to be now. And we're going to click on Minecraft Worlds. And these are Minecraft Worlds. So these are the the games that you've been playing. Every time you play a game in Minecraft, uh, which is a new game, or it gets modified, it's going to create one of these folders here. And you don't have to go inside of it. I'm just pulling it up. This is like behavior packs and database resource packs specific to this particular world. So if you download a world off of uh, the Minecraft uh, server you know game official place uh, you'll be downloading one of these and it'll look like this in this case uh, for Washington has fallen we have over 400 of these uh, folders because we're actually developing an adventure game um, but that's beside the point so over here on the right I'm going to create a new folder and I'll just call it um, for the sake of this video Minecraft backups so if you want to like save your game before you start playing it in case you screw something up you could create a minecraft backup folder you can store this wherever you want another hard drive or, or whatever else and we're done so like I said each of these is a different game and uh, you know depending on what you're doing uh, you may want to save all of them you might want to just save one of them in this case, we're just going to do one. So we're going to right click on the one I want to save. But before I do that, let me just say that. Let me just say this. If you want to collect, select more, hold your left uh, mouse button down and drag. And there you go. You can, Those are all ready to go. But in this case, we're just going to do one. So I'm going to select one. I'm going to right click on it. Let me get it selected. There we go. I'm going to right click on it. Go down to copy. Now we're done. We're going to come over here to this new Minecraft backup folder. Open it up. Click inside of the folder, empty folder just so it's making sure that folder is selected. And then we're going to right click again and click paste. There is that copy of that game. That is how you make a backup copy of a Minecraft world in Windows 10 Bedrock 1.16. I hope that video helped you. Thanks for watching.